meet internationally known potter and sculptor Carlos Dowling. All right, this is the potter's wheel. And the, what I'm doing is called throwing. The term throwing comes from the fact that you literally throw the ball of clay on the potter's wheel. The object is to get the ball of clay directly in the center of the wheel. Because if you don't get the clay centered, then you can't have a uniform piece. Centering, although it appears to be simple, it's actually the most difficult part of the operation to learn, but, it, but it's most essential. Potter and sculptor Carlos Dowling demonstrates how he can throw the perfect vase in less than five minutes. Making sure that you allow enough clay at the bottom. He instinctually knew he had this skill at an early age. I, I saw a, a gentleman on television when I was 13 years old, working in plasticine. And I just said to my friends that I think I could do a better job. They challenged me and that's how it all started. I was in the middle. And they had one sculptress, her name was Billy Lang, and she was a, an acclaimed Canadian sculptress. And uh, she put out that she wanted students, so I joined her class. And she was able to get me in the one pottery studio that just happened to be starting up after about a year that I had worked with her because she wanted me to um, work in a profession that still dealt with clay as she was teaching me sculpture. Each potter has his own style of holding his or her hands. I'm going to throw a vase for you. Well, I, I usually do commission sculpting. I'm, I consider myself a sculptor first. I've lived in New York. I have a major piece in the national headquarters of the ASPCA and a 12-foot bronze sculpture in Bermuda of a Bermuda, what is called, gumbe dancer. Um, and several pieces uh, over, the, over the years, but those are my two major pieces. So after I had the piece to the uniform thickness, and I start the final shaping. Talk about why you use such vibrant colors, and, and are those vibrant colors present in all your work? Pretty much so. I think the brightness of the colors comes from just coming from a warm climate and uh, tropical colors, and Bermuda is known for its pink and blue houses. So. When I came here, I saw that they use more muted tones. So I still tried to incorporate my brighter tones and I was pleasantly surprised that it was accepted. Uh, of course, it's, you know, my work is kind of loud. You feel it set you apart? Yeah, yeah. I, and I pride myself with each piece that I make as an individual piece. We got a lot of potters that have a particular style. I don't uh, have a, a style. I just create as the inspiration comes to me. So when you get a piece um, that's often a one of a kind, and often I see my work after years, and I said, who did that? And then I have to look under, underneath the bottom and say, oh, that's one of my pieces, because I don't remember them once I, I've done them. And does that help you release them? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm motivated also by having my children find good homes so I can eat. So I, I don't. I get attached. I think I only have about one or two pieces at home that I really am attached to. But otherwise, than that I enjoy watching them uh, go in somebody else's possession. In order to get the, the piece to come out, it's the outside hand pushing out, and then you reverse, and it's the inside, outside hand 
pushing in to close it in. Take out the excess water from the bottom. Quality. My sculpture and teacher, that's a quick story. Uh, the first piece I made when I was in the ceramic uh, shop, I made a bird that the wing broke and I glued the wing back together and gave it to her as a gift. Uh, she promptly looked at it, threw it across the table and said, don't ever give me a piece that's not a first. So I don't even sell, up to today, I don't sell satins. If it's folded, it goes to the funeral parlor. <laughs> Thank you so much. I like to round the top edges of my pieces because this is often the part that gets nipped or broken. Just use the wooden tool to take off the excess clay and enhance the line of the piece. And that's your pot.